In this box right here, I have Chewy's first mini PC. Now it's powered by an Atom X5Z8350, four gigabytes of RAM. It has wireless AC and a gigabit LAN port on there. It's a good network connection. And it also has something that you don't often see in mini PCs, and that is its dual boot. So it's got Windows 10 Home on there and Android 5.1, I think it is. So you can see it's well boxed up and we'll have a look and see just how this one here runs. So here we see the typical Chewy packaging, these brown boxes that they use. High box Hero, Windows, Android, and it also has a 64 gigabyte eMMC sharing the space between those two operating systems, of course. Put it to a side for a second and see what else we get. Namely the power supply. So this right here, that has uh, instruction, not instruction, sorry, warranty cards and things like that in there. Uh, this would probably be just a cable. Oh no, okay, we've got a bracket here. So this would be for a visa mount. So you could put this actually on the back of a monitor or a TV or something. That is actually really good that they have included that. And this will be the power supply, of course. And an HDMI cable. So we've got standard sized HDMI cable there. Very good to see that that is included. Most many PCs do. And an EU power plug here. That is rated to 12 volts, two amps there. All right, so the build of it, all plastic. So I've got like a matte coating on there. I can see a little hole here. So this could actually be a microphone. I probably should look at that quick guide there. SD card slot, which is really good to see. Normally it's micro SD, and I do like to see a full size one. Two USB, two ports on the front, power on button. And here we have the DC in jack, full sized USB three, and a full sized HDMI out, LAN port, and then 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a reset button there. Nothing else, there's two little holes here. I wonder whether those could actually be the microphones. And on the bottom, four rubber feet, and this is where you slot in that bracket so you can hook this up to a visa mount there. All right, so I'm gonna to have to connect this up now, power and everything, and get this running through my capture card so I can show you just how Android and Windows are partitioned and what hardware we have within this little device. So powering it on, the status LED on the top of the device lit up blue. So clearly that is not the microphone. The two holes on the side are. Very good to see we do have a microphone on this device. A lot, not a lot of them do actually have that. So here in Windows, let's have a look and see how much free space we have. I've got 31 gigabytes there free. And there is one bloatware application here you can see, which is IQIY, which happens to be the account which was set up for this already. Now there's an app here called Switch Now, so we'll be able to just go straight from Windows into Android, which I will do later on. But first to have a look at the device manager at the hardware we have on board, system, to see if this is in fact fully activated, which it is. Windows is activated, four gigabytes of RAM, we have the entire four gigabytes available. Nothing else has been dedicated there to the, the graphics. So here in device manager, we have a Toshiba 064 G70. I have seen these drives before. Normally they have quite decent speeds for eMMC 4.5.1 spec drives. Now under the network adapters, here's the Realtek Gigabit Ethernet port, which I currently have plugged in. And the wireless is Broadcom not wireless AC as advertised on Gearbest and some other retailers. I was led to believe it had wireless AC in here, but it seems no, it does not. There's, that's been changed, cost cutting perhaps, or maybe just the retailers got the specs wrong there. So I'm gonna move over now into Android and we'll have a look and see how that's set up and how much free available space we have there as well. Now on Android here, you can see we've got Play Store installed. 
gallery. There's no bloatware on here whatsoever. This is really good. This is like what I like to see. I don't like to see custom launches. Just keep things plain and simple, especially with this kind of hardware, which is what they've done here. Now, there was an update that I just actually applied with the system update tool. So at least they are pushing through bug fixes and things like that. Now, the available space that we have, let's have a look under storage here. So we've got 9.3 gigabytes free. That's not really a lot. And under settings here, let's have a look at the version. It would be Android 5.1 by the looks of it, which it is there. So 5.1. So I'll have to check this out later on with a review. I'll get some games installed and Tutu, and we'll just have a look at the performance of that and how it performs. So here's the remote here for the high box. It's actually really small, a lot smaller than I expected because the press images kind of made it look like it was the size of a standard TV remote, which clearly it's not. I'm not too sure if this includes batteries. So we've got a power on. Menu by the looks of it, your navigation button's okay. Perhaps a mouse mode, home, back, volume, up and down buttons. And okay, so it needs actually a USB dongle to work. You've got to plug that in. And then you need two AAA batteries in there. And there's the infrared transmitter. All right, so that's all I'm gonna cover here in this unboxing. My first impressions are quite good. I mean, I can't actually think of any cons here, apart from maybe you could say that it's got a weaker processor. So the pros are it's cheap. It's around about 130 US, including shipping from popular retailers. And we do have built-in microphone in there that I've never actually seen on a mini PC. Most of them skip that. And then we do have ports that can power external hard drives. I did test that out. I plugged in a one terabyte drive. Works just fine on the USB 3 port and the USB 2 ports there. The other thing too is there's a bracket so you can mount this onto a TV or monitor if you wanted to just get it out of the way. Now having dual OS on this is really good. Now there's not a lot of free space. That you could say is a con. Android has only got 9.3 gigabytes free and it'll be very easy to eat up into that of course once you start to install large games. But a fully licensed copy of Windows 10, Android 5.1 in a mini PC for 130 US I think is a really good deal so far. So I will check out everything like thermals, performance, gaming on this in the full review. So make sure you keep an eye on the playlist for the Chewy Highbox hero here. And hopefully we'll see you back in the channel soon.